Dimitri. Oh, okay. Whoopsie. Gotta sell it first, baby. Hey, who's this? Is that Dimitri? <laughs> oh, that is Dimitri's. Okay, well, that's fair. Ooh, we are fucking rich. Nice. So you can export fish. Interesting. My colleagues at the TFG HQ doc tell me you have submitted some good exploration data. Excellent work. You are now a full member of TFG. Welcome aboard. Thank you. What should I do next? While you were gone, I looked through some of my records. And what you said about the lake fish dying sounded familiar to me. I found some reports from a place called Tafkato Lake. It was a lake that used to be a part of the Ult network in a very early stage of the network's development. Supposedly, the fish at Tef Tefkato Lake gradually died off similarly to what is happening at Enkobo Lake. Is there any, any more information? Were they able to save the lake? I don't think so. There is not a lot of information about this lake. However, because it was part of a very early version of the Ult network, I may be able to be located with a bit of luck. Maybe you can go check it out. Sounds like a pretty good idea. How can I get there? I should be able to hack together a module that can override your teleporter and I teleport to Tafkato Lake. I'll probably need a legacy old network firmware chip, though, and those are not too easy to find anymore. You should go talk to Kaylee at her dock on Graph Pond. She collects old technology and has helped us out with some stuff in the past. Okay, I'll go find Kaylee. Let's do it. Let's travel to, sorry, what was it? Graph Pond. Let's go. Hello, I'm Kaylee. What can I do for you? Hi, Kaylee. I'm looking for a legacy old network firmware chip. I heard you were a collector. I might have an extra one lying around. She's probably going to want something from it, am I right? Interesting, but I asked what you need for it. I needed to build a module to teleport to an old lake. Now that sounds pretty sketchy. Guess I could just have you let you have the firmware chip as long as you don't pull me into anything. However, I will need you to do something for me first. Well, of fucking course. What'd you have in mind? I'm looking for a certain fish for a project that I'm working on. Fishing is one of my strong suits, so if you could bring me back a fish, I'd very much appreciate it. Sure, I can do that. Tell me about this fish. The species lives in Racolus Pond and is called the Perwalu. Looks like this. For my project, the fish needs to weigh at least six pounds. Bring me a fish as I have described, and you'll find your and you'll have your firmware chip. Okay, I'll get your fish. Okay, Perilu Pond. Is that right? Or am I high? No, it's Rac no, it's Perilu, but it's that Raculous Pond. Okay. And let me guess, we know nothing about it? Yeah, no, we don't. Well, we can at least try and talk to some people, see if they know anything. Kataku Frettinger for dark colored lures. Stop right there. Criminal scum. No! The criminal scum fast traveled. It's just like Oblivion. God damn it. No! <laughs> he just disappeared too. Fuck. Now there's only one person on this damn lake. Kind of shit is that? Well, let's get to fishing, I guess.
Oh, there we go. Okay, that works. Good to know. And it's a bog fish. Well, at least we know we can catch something if we just let it sit at the bottom. Tell you what. Can we buy some something? For instance, can we get a super rod? Gives me better strength, control, and cast distance. Mm hmm. rod now apparently let's switch back to this one for a bit and try and catch a fish Who knew fishing for fish you know nothing about? It's kind of hard. Who knew? Hey, you look new. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you, sir? Please, come here. I need any info that I can get. Okay. Bogfish like fast lures, I guess. I don't need to know about bogfish. I need to know about perlues or whatever. Tell me there's not a damn perlu in this water anywhere.
gotta be somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, okay. Let's go. A bog fish, are you kidding me? You like deep water? And you still appeared somehow? Back you. fish here bro you have any knowledge oh come on you kidding me I don't need fucking info I'm a fretinger back Maybe some time needs to come by. Maybe that'll bring out some different fish. Oh, got someone. Come on, Perlu. Please be a Perlu. At least be fucking Perlu. It's fighting like it's tough, so I would assume it's Perlu. <gasps> Fuck yes! <laughs> Finally, we got a stupid Perlu. I'm gonna fish some more just in case. Like, I want another Perlu, dude. Because I want to learn about this stupid fish. Come on. Come on. Come here. Please be a huge one. Oh, that is a huge one. Dissect it. Okay, so it looks large. That's the problem, apparently, that we're having. I'll take any other info I can get. Please give me another one. I want to know everything about this stupid fish. Like, I could just finish this quest now, but come this far, man. Might as well learn a bit more. If I can. that one too. Okay, so they do like shallow water. 
It has been confirmed. Mr. Pertman. He's fighting like a big one. Whoa. I said, oh, now I know almost everything about him. That's good enough for me. Let's go. Back to Graph Pond. Man, that feels good. Kaylee, I got what you need, girl. You have my fish yet? Yes, I have it right here. 6.98 pound per lou. Yes, that's the fish I'm looking for. Thanks, a deal's a deal. Here's the legacy old network firmware chip you wanted. Great, thanks. See you later. Let me know if you need any more old technology. Okay. Back to the conflux. Wasn't trying to catch fish right here. Dimitri. What's up, dude? I got it. I finished building a teleporter injector module that should allow you to teleport to Tefkoto Lake. All I need is like the old network firmware chip. Do you have it? Yeah, I got it right here. Perfect. Let's plug it in and test it out. Okay, let's do it. Dimitri inserts the firmware chip and the module powers on. He presses a few buttons and performs some tests. Did it work? It must be working. But the only way to find out for sure is for you to install it in your boat. And test it out. Up the teleporter injector module, then teleport to to Koto Lake. Have a look around. See if you can figure anything out. Okay, I'll go check it out. Now we can travel. Two. Do I have it on? I do. Tefkoto Lake? Let's do it. Who's that? Who are you, sir? Let me talk to you. I said let me talk to you. Stop right there. Stop. Walter, you won't find many fish here, friend. Why do you say that? This lake is merely a shadow of its former glory. Hi, I'm Walter. Hi, Walter. I'm Ancoblosa. What can you tell me about this lake? You know, old man to old man. There's not much to tell. Tefkoto Lake used to be a popular fishing destination. Now it's not. Do you have an idea why that happened? Many years ago, people used to come from all around to fish in Tefkoto Lake. The fishing was so good that Old Corp made this lake one of the original eight lakes in the first version of its old network. After that, things were great for a while. But one day, the fish started dying. Populations never recovered. Old Corp said it was caused by some kind of bacteria. A bacteria? Yes, that's what they said. Mostly, the bacteria was stuck to a boat that it teleported from another lake. After that, Old Corp added a boat purification process into the teleportation routine of the Universal Lake Teleporter that is supposed to destroy anything on the boat that could harm the lake. Old Corp also removed Tefkoto Lake from the old network and purchased the lake from the local government, claiming that they would work on repopulating the lake with fish. I assume that didn't work out? Well, Old Corp sent a lot of boats here to work on the lake, but nothing ever came of it. After a while, they stopped coming and the lake is pretty much abandoned, except for the few people like myself who come here for the sake of nostalgia. Were you around when all this was happening? Is there anything else you can remember? 
Yeah, I was around. It's my home lake after all. One thing I do remember is some of my fishing buddies said they saw some flashes of light underwater at night. Flashes underwater. That's odd. Did you ever see them? No, I never saw them. But I wasn't often out here at night. I do most of my fishing in the morning and afternoon. Okay, thanks for the information, Walter. It's nice to meet you. Sorry about the Kodo Lake. Let's go back to Dimitri and tell him what happened. Some sad shit. Did you discover anything interesting at the Fakoto Lake? Yeah, I met a fisherman who was around during the events that happened at the Fakoto Lake. It does sound very similar to what is going on at Kobo Lake. Did they figure out what caused the fish to die? Old Corp said it was caused by a bacteria which struck to a, which was stuck to a boat that had teleported from another lake. After that, Old Corp added a boat purification process into the teleportation routine of the Universal Lake Teleporter. That sounds like a cover-up to me. Purification has always been part of the old, net, old teleport routine since the very beginning. They just didn't advertise it. I've reverse engineered the old versions of Universal Lake Teleporter, so I know. Really? So what do you think actually caused the fish to die at Fakoto Lake? I don't know. Did this fisherman at Fakoto Lake say anything else? He did say some people reported seeing flashes of light underwater at night. Underwater flashes of light. That's odd. Wait. You don't think. What? There were rumors that Old Court was de developing a teleporter that could teleport to and from an underwater location. I didn't think it was possible with current technology due to the fact that the current version of Ult has to lock onto the interface between a water surface and a breathable at atmosphere. Why would they need to teleport underwater? I'm not sure. But imagine being able to teleport in and out of a lake without anybody noticing. If Old Court is up to some kind of secret operation, underwater teleportation could be very useful to them. So you think Old Corp had a secret operation going on to Fakoto Lake? I don't know, but it's definitely possible. That also might be what's going on in Kobo Lake. Have you seen any underwater flashes of light? Yeah, now that you mention it, I have. Well, this is serious. We need to figure out if there's anything odd going under the surface of Kobo Lake. Any ideas about how to do that? A while back, I started working on an anomaly scanner feature for the TFG Exploration Kit module. It would identify odd things and rare occurrences in lakes. Kind of got sidetracked with other things, but with your help, I bet I could finish it. And you think it could provide us information about what's going on in, o in Kobo Lake? Yeah, it's likely that I can give us some new information. Okay, what do you need me to do? Well, the main thing I need from you is more exploration data. What you brought us so far was helpful, and there are several other anglers collecting data as well, but I need a little more. If you could collect and sell 500 credits worth of exploration data to the TFG HQ doc, that would be enough data to properly train the software to identify anomalies. While you are doing that, I will continue working on the software to get it ready. Okay, I will get to work. Alright, so, more exploration data is what we need. So we just got to sell the information data. So we have enough for 500 credits worth. Interesting. Need a drink. What's that? So. So, how do I, like, oh, uh, I access, like, my actual inventory. 
Like, don't I have other different modules? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Uh, where do we gotta go? Well, we gotta go to a random unknown lake. Cause where we gotta go? Gotta find out more info, bro. All right. Let's um. Yeah, I think I gotta change it. Uh, how do I change this? Go back to Nkobo Lake, maybe? Okay. Okay, instead of teleport injector, TFG exploration kit. There we go. That's what we needed. So I could have one at a time. Oh, excuse me. So we know how to do that now. It's nice. Oh, it's a weird looking place. Run our test. And let's get a fishing. Okay, got that info. <laughs> Hello, any fish? You want to help me out? Well, we could just like do the test and sell that info, right? I can like sell that. Uh, da -da -da -da. and we can hold up to like five of those twelve things. So we can do five at a time. All right. So we'll just fish while we're doing it. If we catch nothing, we catch nothing.